What's going on guys? You know who this is. First of all, I'd like to please excuse my hair. I just woke up a couple minutes ago. Um, but bed's messy, hair's messy, but whatever. This is like a little time capsule that I'm doing an experiment. I made this video two months back. Um, maybe January, around February, maybe. Um, so now we're in April 1st, 20, uh, 2012. So these are uh, these are the games that I picked like 2012, I mean 2011. So just keep in mind that I do have Gears 3 and the introduction of the video would be next right now. So just keep in mind that it's pretty cool. Uh, hope you enjoy. Alright, what is up YouTube? This is PS3 Cali's Game Review. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. This is going to be my top. This is going to be the games that I bought on 2011. I know it's 2012 now. It's February, um, Valentine's Day, whatever. Um, but anyways, I'm going to just do this gets out the way because I promised a lot of people I'd do this and they want to see what games I bought 2011. As of 2011, no 2012, no 2010. Just 2011 pure. Bought about 11 games, 12 games maybe. Um, the best titles that I think were the best titles. Um, you know, so here we go. Ship 2, Need for Speed. I got this game for free because the guy who drives one of these cars was, was at an event in Long Beach. And he just gave it to me because I was a participant and I worked for uh, Excellent Stickers. But um, I don't work that no more. So next thing... Um, I got Crisis 2, one of the best uh, picture games, uh, graphical, otherwise, game. I never beat this game, um, but it was pretty fun. Uh, I, I don't want to go back to it now because it's like, you know, it kills the moment where you would have beaten it the day that it came out, you know? Uh, but I will oh, beat it one day. This game was good. I had, I had an impressions video. This game was awesome, actually. Uh, it was my first Crisis game. Next thing, um, Little Big Planet 2. I haven't played this. My brother has, um, you know, there's nothing else to say. It's just Little Big Planet 2. Um, I wasn't really liking the first one, but the second one looked pretty good. But I haven't played it. Next is Ratchet and Clank All for One. I haven't played this game. I love Ratchet and Clank, though. Uh, I haven't played this one, though. It looked, it didn't look, it didn't look that great for me to play. Probably wouldn't ever play it anyways. Killzone 3. This game was one of the best games that came out in 2011. Uh, I was really looking forward to this game a lot because I love Killzone. You know, I love Hellgas. I love Hellgun. Um, this game was just so good. Fuck what the review has to say about this. This game was just phenomenal. If you guys didn't play this game, this game was just awesome. Pure awesome. It's just action packed. The online was fucking great. One of the best games of 2011, in my opinion. Best shooter. Next we got Battlefield 3. Now this game was big let down, but big up as well. Uh, the game, the uh, the story on this game was fucking beast. Never beat it though, but I was so close to beating it. I got just so frustrated on this game. The graphics on this game on single player is just incredible. All right, um, the online on this was just uh, okay. I guess there's too many campers and I never played Battlefield, so it was just like too much of big maps and it was just three shots and you die, but um, I really thought this game was going to beat Modern Warfare 3, but it didn't, so. Next, we got Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I love Marvel vs. Capcom series. Uh, this game was just good. Um, the only reason why I bought it, really, to tell you the truth, was because Dante from, uh, from Devil's May Cry came out on it. And, you know, like, you have to own one of these for every console. The PS1, you had to own the first one. The PS2, you had to own the second one. The PS3, you have to own this one. Um, I really love this game. It was one of my favorites. I'm not going to lie for playing. I love this game. Um, next, we got Batman Arkham City. This game was okay. I'm going to tell you the truth. This game was okay. It wasn't all that. It didn't deserve to be on the top uh, for nominations of 2011 Game of the Year. This game was just pure okay. It wasn't all that. It wasn't all that great. My probably the best um, price on this game would that it, it would probably be like thirty dollars or twenty dollars, no more than that. This game was just okay. It wasn't all that. The graphics were fucking gay. I'm not gonna lie. The story was a good. The acting was great. Fuck 
everyone knows. Assassin's Creed. I still haven't played this game. I played one mission and I got bored. But I love Assassin's Creed too. I never played Brotherhood. I played the first, second, and this one so far. I haven't beaten it though. It looks okay. Next we got Beast Skyrim. Skyrim is just an awesome game. This game truly deserves to get Game of the Year. But it has a lot of issues and bugs. But it's just awesome. This game is just awesome. Um, I really recommend this game. This game is worth probably $50 at the most. But it's fucking worth it, okay? It's worth every single dollar you pay for this game. If you're into role-playing games. It was my first Skyrim game too. Next we got OGs of OGs. Metal Gear HD Collection. So this game is just beast. I, I beat the second, beat the third, never played Ops. I mean, never played a <laughs> Peace Walker, but um, planning on beating it. I haven't played the HD Collections yet. I played one game, but uh, my brothers played it more than I did. Next, we got Uncharted Nathan Drake. No, just kidding. Uncharted 3. This game is beast. Best game of 2011. Best game. Best game of 2011. Hands down. Nathan Drake's Savage Story is a beast. Gameplay is beast. Online is very good. Um, Naughty Dog did it again. Next, we got the bad bitch of all bad bitches. Modern Warfare 3. As you all might have seen my rant on it, where I got, I was in the top 99 on Search and Destroy. And Infinity War thought it was cute. For me to get restarted back to the millions. So, fuck you, Infinity Ward. Modern Warfare 3 is a good game, though. Um, it still the still has the crown of uh, first-person shooter multiplayer. This game is just pure awesomeness. It's, it's really good. You guys should buy it. I hate to say it, though. And uh, that completes all the game that I bought on 2011. So we got right here um, a new pile, 2011 games. Really good year for gaming. Really good year. Let me tell you that. Oh, and I bought Gears of War 3, which is over there, but I can't want to get it. Subscribe.